Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. So I'm sure the 2009 Nissan Fuga 350 GT. It's got 74,000 kilometers on it, which is about 46,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos and answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Fuga 350 GT is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe, so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now, you do have two ways to pay for this first one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do have, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I just like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. I can tell that this seat was is not all the way down. Okay. So it has this uh, nice little uh, key holder there. So right underneath here. So all you have to do when you come in, push that all the way. Oops. Push it all the way in until you hear the click, and then foot on the brake, and it is a push start. And there you go. It starts. It's just a no. Uh, all right, let's turn that radio off. Let's lower this. And let's squeeze this in. All right. 74,341 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one, sorry, it's a little blurry. But uh, that circle one there is your emergency brake. This one's at uh, kick types. When you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight head instrument cluster. And then pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here, you do have your uh, monitor. This one does have a rear camera. It also has a side camera, okay? Uh, let's extend those mirrors out. But it is kind of blurry. So we, we try to clean it up as much as possible, but we're gonna do our best to see what we can do with it, okay? Um, then you have your air conditioning controls, uh, radio and navigation controls, and this is more of the uh, radio. Your shifter, ashtray lighter, little compartment here uh, for storage, and then you do have uh, your blind spot as I showed you. Now this on and off for the snow, you're probably never gonna use that. If you do put it on, it's probably gonna restrict your uh, power uh, considerably. Okay, and then uh, cup holders, and a center console slash armrest is gonna give you a tray up front, and then some more storage and a power outlet down there. Off the left here, you have your glove box. Okay. Then a little bit of storage on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. Yes, this does recline into a, a recliner. Uh, that's your, um, what you call it, your uh, red row flare hanging out over there. Then this is the space I have on my side. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. And now the seat is finally all the way back, all the way down. Um, I'm a little extended. I can drive like this, but I'm a little extended. I would definitely slide this up a, a couple inches to be a little more comfortable driving. And then it does have a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. And when I do my eye level, keep in mind that the seat is all the way down, all the way back, okay? Uh, so that's my eye level. Really can't see they pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Go way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet. Oops, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from uh, the uh, auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers can't say that for all their cars. We can for each one. Uh, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. 
It was graded four from the auction with an overall grade of C on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. That's gonna be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. And we can also help you decipher it as well. We'll put that back up there. Okay, uh, I'll show you a couple other things uh, before we go to the uh, back seat. It does have an aftermarket uh, dash cam as you can see. Okay, uh, off to the right here, let me open this. Underneath the, um, the push start on the left side, you have your trunk release. Then over here, you have your uh, uh, mirror controls. And this little uh, guy, you're probably never going to use it. We're, we're going to get it uh, secured. It's just not secured in place. But we will get that secured and uh, get that fixed. All right. And then you have your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then just a little compartment for maybe coins or whatnot underneath that. All right. And then we, uh, we keep going below and you have your hood release on the door panel you do have uh, um, uh, two set two memory settings for your uh, driver's seat and then uh, door lock and window controls all right here to turn it off you don't you don't have to have your foot on the brake you just push this one time and it turns off and it does have the ability for paddle shifting okay uh, minus and plus all right let's head to the back seat All right. All right, with the seat all the way back, all the way down about two inches away from the back seat to my knees, uh, each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to uh, rip it on each side. And no uh, storage or anything on the door panels. You do have the center armrest that comes down. That's going to give you two cup holders and a little extra space for storage. Okay. And then you do have a power outlet down here. Now, this is just old school. I'm not exactly sure what, where this leads to. So I can't comment on that one, but you see this one right here. You do have the back vents. You want to make sure that they're angled uh, in the right direction, but you want to make sure this tab is up. Okay. If it is not up, you're not getting any airflow coming through here. You definitely want to make sure it's in the up position to help cool down the car a lot quicker. And then you do have the controls on, on this uh, on the side. So if you're the driver, you go ahead and uh, move up or back, whatever you need to. And that's going to be for the leg rest. Okay. Let's go to the back. Go to the trunk here. All right, looks like it's missing the uh, the carpet and the board, which we will get. It might be getting cleaned. Uh, we just got this one in, so uh, it's probably just drying off. But we'll if we if it did not come with one, we'll definitely get that in there for you. But you can see a huge amount of space back there. Let's go to the front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. All right, and there you have it, the 3.5 uh, liter V6 engine, nice and clean. All right, there you have it, 2009 Nissan Fuga 350 GT. It's got 74,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 46,000 miles, that is it. Uh, military price, is down to price goes down to 5,900, with an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot of discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5700 will include the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be our American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars at a show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months, either way we're going to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.